In this video, I'm going to look at conjunctions and then later we are going to see how conjunctions determine sentence structure. We are going to start with a different type of conjunctions. We have more than two types of conjunctions, but for the sake of grade 8, we are only discussing coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions. So in order for us to understand coordinating and subordinating conjunctions, I would say the best way is to compare them next to each other. There are many subordinating conjunctions. There really is a list of them. But if we know the seven coordinating conjunctions, of course it will be easier for us to know the subordinating conjunctions. So my tip to you is know the seven coordinating conjunctions. These seven coordinating conjunctions spell a word, so it is even easier to remember them. The word they spell is fanboys. Another easy way to remember these conjunctions is to know that each of these conjunctions are only two or three letters long. The F in fanboy stands for for, the A for and, the N for nor, the B for but, the O for or, the Y for yet, and the S for so. That is how easy it is to remember the seven coordinating conjunctions. Now we have our subordinating conjunctions. I already wrote them down because there are quite a lot of them. But we have as, as soon as, as much as. After, although. You can remember although and though together. Then we have because and before. We have even if, even though. If, if only. Until, unless. And you can remember till with until and though with although. Then we have now, once, rather than and since. When, whenever, where, wherever, while and whether. And that is why you understand that I say that it is much easier to know these seven. Because if you know these seven, then automatically you will know these ones as subordinating conjunctions. Now let's compare coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions to see what type of sentences they form. It is actually very easy because you get three types of sentences. The three types of sentences you get are simple sentences, compound sentences, and complex sentences. And depending on the number of conjunctions and the type of conjunctions in the sentence, then we will see if it will be a simple, a compound, or a complex sentence. If there are no conjunctions in the sentence whatsoever, then it is a simple sentence. If we have only coordinating conjunctions in the sentence, it is a compound sentence. And if we have only subordinating conjunctions in the sentence, it is a complex sentence. So, to summarize it, coordinating conjunctions in a sentence form compound sentences. That is what coordinating conjunctions do. So if you see a sentence with only coordinating conjunctions and you remember those are the fanboys conjunctions, then those are called compound sentences. Subordinating conjunctions in a sentence, and listen, there can be one coordinating conjunction or many. One subordinating conjunction or many. But if there are subordinating conjunctions in the sentence, it means that that sentence is a complex sentence. Subordinating conjunctions form complex sentences. And no conjunction in the sentence means that it is a simple sentence.